One of the greatest dangers facing Australian society today is fluoride in our drinking water. To most, this is not an important issue, but for those that have actually looked into the science and realised what is in our water, this is definitely an issue that should not go unnoticed by the people of Australia. Have a look. Hi everybody, Harrison with you. As global warmings launch new environmental concerns, fluoride in tap water once again rears its ugly head. So why all the controversy if it's good for the teeth? Turns out the stuff in common tap water happens to be a sister compound to sodium fluoroacetate, a common form of rat poison. According to studies by the Case Institute, the byproduct of phosphate mining in which they make fertilizer and laundry detergent is liquid fluoride. So toxic it costs seven grand a barrel to bury. Oh. Now in bed with the government, companies can avoid expensive burial costs by diluting fluoride in city water supply. Tap water goes directly down the throat and through the body's major organs. Liver and kidneys then receive, ready for this? Lead, cadmium, phosphorus, selenium, mercury, silver, chromium, arsenic, and uranium-238, radioactive, by the way. Uh, in other news, look at this ABC News of Australia, one of their big national TV networks. Kangaroos poisoned by fluoride. The Environmental Protection Authority says fluoride from Alcoa's aluminum smelter at Portland is making kangaroos sick. Well, why not just put it in the water supply? Oh, that's what you do. It's the byproduct from the purification process of aluminum manufacturing and the byproduct of fertilizer manufacturing, and you just dump it in our water. That and over 150 chemicals on average. Some systems get over 300. And I don't mean to be a bummer here, but I care about you, and we can't rely on newspapers and entertainment reporters to dole out the goods. You do have a choice if you want this stuff in your water, you can call your mayor. After all, we all have a right to be safe and healthy, and to choose what we put into our precious bodies. Turn Off the Television had a small fluoride awareness day to alert the people about what is in their drinking water, and to hope that they do their own research and take action. Check it out. is life, not just trips down the same drain. It's a basic human right to sip a fountain or drink rain. Instead, they dump chemical waste into the reservoir. Every jar contaminated, fluoride taints my weather heart. Like I can't, there's lead and arsenic on that measure bar. And never far behind the line of fire is that repertoire. It's good for bones and teeth. They hum and sing, but real facts beneath the surface reveal some other things. Fluoride accumulates, and studies have shown it causes major changes to the structure of bone. Sensation of burning. Prickling and pains, gastrointestinal disorders, feeling sickly and strange, tingling in the limbs and chronic fatigue. Even that frog in the reeds has his pond under siege. Neurotoxic design, a lowered IQ, lost in three lines of a poet's haiku. I know I'm like you, my body's sort of the same, and there's also fluoride added to my water mains. Skeletal fluorosis, osteoarthritis, they misguide and deny, glossing over the entire list. The cost of those who fight this more stress in dismay. I don't believe we receive blessings this way. Criminals poison water like the China Sea. It's a major hit on the planet in a minor key. Why you wanna poison me? With your chemical concoctions in my water. Why you wanna poison me? Why you wanna poison me? It's gonna make my life shorter. Water crimes slowly rise above the water lines. Floating in clear view for all to surely find. Well, governments lie and classify the research. This message should be loud and clear and right on bottom t-shirts.